The Lebranos are back in power. Remember them? It was a poster we made back at the old magazine I published called The Western Standard. It was about 10 years ago when we were just realizing the full depth of corruption in the Liberal Party. This was over ad scam. Remember that? A huge kickback scheme where Liberal connected ad agencies and pollsters and PR firms would bill taxpayers for millions of dollars. But instead of doing the work, they'd give a kickback to the Liberal Party itself in Quebec. In the end, liberal operatives were sentenced to prison, but the liberal party itself was never convicted or sentenced or punished by the law. But it wasn't just outright crimes, though. It was the whole entitlement mentality. It's summed up best by this 2005 comment by David Dingwall, the former liberal cabinet minister, who submitted expenses to the taxpayer when he was the head of the Canadian Mint, and then he had to put his job over it. But he also demanded a huge severance. And here's what he told the parliamentary committee about it. No, I am entitled to my entitlements. Entitled to my entitlements. You know, it's been 10 years in Canada since we had a government like that. I mean, Bev Oda, the conservative minister, was stripped from her cabinet post over a $16 orange juice she built to taxpayers. That's how parsimonious the Stephen Harper government was. Harper himself set the example. He didn't spend $10 million on renovating 24 Sussex Drive, as Justin Trudeau is now doing. Here's my point. Canadians have forgotten what a party based on greed, greed and kickbacks and entitlements really looks like. But they won't forget for long because they are being reminded every day. Here's proof. Here's news. This new MP from Winnipeg, uh, Robert Falcon Olette, was running to be the Speaker of the House of Commons. But how did he campaign for it? So he's a new Liberal MP, wants to be the Speaker. Did he campaign on reform, on more democracy for MPs, on more private members bills, on more free votes, something to help democracy maybe? Or maybe just some fresh blood? <laughs> no. Here's what he said. He was in his riding in Winnipeg, and he said he was running to be Speaker because the job gave him, quote, great influence with the Prime Minister, and according to reports, he boasted that if speakers of the House of Commons or their friends had issues, quote, which require funding or action, they can call the Prime Minister to their chair. Speakers have influence because they control debate, and Prime Ministers want to keep them happy. Robert Falcon, who led, is no dummy. Other than the fact that he said this out loud, so he dropped out of the race after publicity over his comments. Not because he didn't say what he meant. He meant what he said. He just shouldn't have said it in public, you see. The Lebranos are back. The entitled to their entitlements crowd is back. And as you can see by this greedy MP from Winnipeg, it has spread far beyond the traditionally corrupt Quebec liberals. Hey, Canada, you voted for these people, or at least 39% of you did. The past 10 years of Harper's clean living has bored people. People have forgotten ad scam the Lebranos. The liberals are going to remind us all, and hard. For the Rebel.media, I'm Ezra Levant.